Hello, I'm Joe from Cheap Joe's Art Stuff, and today I'd like to show you a tool that I have had so much fun with, but it's a painting knife, and I have them out here. And if you will look, here's one that has nothing on it, just a regular painting knife, number 50. And here's a number 50 with our secret on the bottom taped to it called Velcro. This is the, this is the soft side of Velcro. And uh, here's a smaller one, size 40. Another size 45 in between. Put it right there. And then this is a nice plastic one. It's uh, the black is, uh, Velcro, and I actually prefer the white better, but it'll get dirty. Anyhow, here's how you do the knife. I have a little piece of Velcro here that I've already begun to, to take the tape off the back of it. And again, like I told you, it's the, the um, sticky side of the Velcro. And I simply lay, lay the painting knife down on it just like that, just like that. And then I, with a pair of scissors, I trim it to the shape of the, of the painting knife. And it's a little tricky cutting it because it tends to stick to the scissors. But you can see, you get the idea, and I'll end up with something just like this, and this one's certainly been used plenty of times. And that's how you prepare the painting knife. And now I want to show you how the painting knife works with the Velcro on it. Here's my paper. It's 300 pound Kilimanjaro cold press paper, and I've put a one inch artist tape all the way around the border so it'll kind of have a mat when we finish with it. And I start thinking in terms of thirds much better than ter terms of halves because it's more interesting. So this would be about a third, that's marking on the tape of the way down, this would be about a third, so over here, here, and then up here, that's about a third right there, and another one right there. So with this in mind, I'm going to show you about, the, I'm going to imagine this is really way back, and I'm going to do over to about two-thirds of it. And then uh, I'm going to drop down here. I'm going to come from this side over here with about to the two-thirds place. And then maybe we'll put something in the middle here. So I'll activate some color, pick up the painting knife, and I've got fresh paint on my palette. And so I'm going to pick up some of this sky blue, such a beautiful color. And I'm going to just simply come in here and put in some sky with the sky blue and the palette knife. I'm going to add a little water to it right in here. There we go. Wow. It's already pretty, isn't it? I think so. Then we'll come down here to the bottom and we'll put some of that same color in because this is a lake and it's reflecting what's above it there. So I simply do this. Now you could do all this with a knife, but it's a it's kind of an easy, quick way to do, and I'll show you about all of it. I don't know if we'll get it finished or not, but we might. And I'll soften this bottom edge right up here. And now I'm at a third for sure, which is pretty nice. And now I'm going to take a little richer blue while this is still damp, and I'm going to mix up some of it. This is in Danthron or midnight blue. Beautiful color, nice dark blue that stays dark. And I'm going to come up here to that third line and I'm simply going to start pulling it up just like that. And it's because it's damp in there, it's staying soft edge and that's what I want. I want that soft edge in there and across like that. Lay the palette knife flat on the paper and just with little upward jerks just like that. It may be a little darker than I should be. And then I'm going to come in right now while that's still wet and come down that makes the reflection. I'm leaving a little white line in there because if you look at water when it's uh, up against the shore there looks like a little white line. And I'm going to soften that out a little bit, get rid of some of those marks like that. There we go. And now we'll come down here to the bottom again with a little darker color. 
and at about the two-thirds long in here one-third actually I'm going to come this way so this one's going to be small right in here on across just like that add some more color to it nice and rich well wow, I like I like these uh, pine trees we call them here evergreen trees and we'll go right on up I'm gonna take it all the way across and it gets darker I mean taller all the time and I'll activate a little more paint add just a drop of water to it and come up pretty good with it pretty high and there we have some more evergreen trees the wind has blown most of them this way to my left and if the wind didn't do it my painting knife did so that's a good thing there we have it Ooh, it's so pretty now we're going to put the reflection of this thing down here below the same way staying so that that white line stays there and right on across all the way can you see what I'm doing here reflecting what's up there in the water and you'll see even better right here we're going to come up down here pretty good and we're going to come back and reflect some of these things in here just like that just kind of move the knife back and forth and it looks just like the reflection of these evergreen trees and on a lake and this is just one of the many things that you can do with the painting knife that made a little simpler and it's so inexpensive and so much fun I'm I'm just addicted to this thing so I'm gonna come up here now and add a little more color a little more strength in there and soften it just a little bit now then we have our sky the, the uh, headland back here and now the land that's close up let's add a little bit of quinacridone burnt scarlet beautiful brown color and mixed with that andanthrone is a rich rich bl uh, black looking color yeah and now we're going to add a little bit of that to the water down here and imagine the water's darker than what is reflected to the top part up there there we go yeah, maybe a little bit up there. Let's see, can't hurt it. It's just a piece of paper. And we're having fun. This is so much fun. Okay, now then we have the lake and we have the sky and we've got this middle part now that we've got to do something with. So we're going to put one in there that's, uh-oh, too much water on my painting knife. Just like your brush, you've got to watch the amount of water in your painting knife or it'll get too damp too wet so I'll dry it a little bit and come back into it this is the one that we just cut let's see what it does just for the fun of it never been used and I'm going to add some of this sky blue again that's two colors that we've used and it's very light so I'm going to come in here just like this and all this reflection from that sky down here we start down the same way some of it will run up in there a little bit and that's okay it gives us that kind of distant look back there that's very wet so we're going to have to let it dry just for a minute before we do anything else now I'm going to add another little piece of headland up there with this sky blue and it's going to be right back here and it's going to be right across here just like that and it's way back so I'm not going to put it very big and I'm not going to put a lot of detail there it is Whew, isn't that quick let's add a little bit down this way not too much and maybe a little streak in the water here because water has some of that just like that and now we can add a couple of little fishermen down here fishing uh, maybe right in this corner 
or maybe up in here it's wet we'd have to wait to do that when it's dry so we'll put them down here just for the fun of it and I usually just start with a small brush and I've got I should have lots of brushes shouldn't I um, this is a long handle bristle brush I'm going to use some of this quinacridone gold that I put down in here just a little bit of it and I'm going to put a little feller right down here fishing there's him I'm going to put some boots on him some wading wading boots just like that I'm going to put the reflection down in here well yeah I'm going to put the reflection down in here all the way out of the picture a little head up there a little pack on the back and you got a mighty big fishing rod so we'll let it set just a minute and then we'll use the painting knife and give him the fishing rod and we're going to get the paint on the tip of the painting knife and I'm going to hold it just like this and I'm going to give it I'm going to try it down here first it's a little heavy that's better there we go looks like it's even in motion now we could put birds in the sky we could put geese flying south we could do all kinds of things with it but essentially that's it you can add things take them away you can lift color with it let's say you have too much color in here we want to lift a little bit we just rub tree trunks up through there now let's take the tape off and see what we've got and remember it's not a finished painting yet and I'm going to show you some in a minute but it sure is a fun way to paint and there we are not like I said it's not finished yet but it's a good beginning and it, how long have we been on this maybe 10 or 15 minutes not much more than that if any have we let's look at some I finished this is one from a, a little park close by here, a federal park called Price Park. Here's another one I did with a painting knife. Uh, could have been Price Lake, could have been Trout Lake, could have been whatever lake, but you can see the painting knife details here and, and how the painting goes back to the blue headland back there and two little fishermen. Uh, that's me on the left with a big fish on. Nope, that's me on the right, anyhow. Here's another one done also from Price Park with the same, from the same place really and uh, I let some of this light green happen in here that I thought was really nice. Another th thing and fun to do with them is lily pads and you can actually use this painting knife and when this is damp and just scrub like this a little bit here and there, blot it and you've got a, a lily pad. It's a fun way to do. This is the original piece from several years back that was sent to me uh, by who's a friend now, but a nun. And she's a wonderful watercolorist. And she did all of this with the painting knife, enclosed this and the painting knife and explained me how to use it. It took me years to get up with her. But when I finally did, I told her how much fun I'd had with it and could I market it under her name? And she said, no, she didn't want that kind of publicity. But I publicly thank you very much because I've had such a great time with these little painting knives. I think you will too. Thank you for being with me.